Bless up electroculture family. So today we're going to talk about vibrational weed control in the garden or on your farm. In Phil Callahan's book Exploring the Spectrum, he discusses a farmer from Australia named John McCabe who had designed um, tiller tines for his tiller um, that were basically a single coil spring that would resonate at a certain frequency that would not disrupt the crop growth but would prohibit weeds from sprouting to mitigate um, the problem with weeds in the garden. So this was then measured by Phil Callahan with his Pecrum device, his photonic ionic cloth radio amplifier maser, which is essentially just a piece of raw burlap or hemp wrapped around a banana plug lead and then plugged into an oscilloscope. And he measured this frequency, um, which he suspected was in the ELF range, the extremely low frequency range, which is technically between one and 1000 Hertz or cycles per second. And he, uh, the, the uh, oscilloscope read out at 720 Hertz. So uh, his, his assumptions were correct in that it was in the ELF range, 720 Hertz to be exact. It's what these tiller times were resonating at when they would make contact with the soil. So um, it, wouldn't that, it wouldn't be that these uh, frequencies would harm anything in any ways. It's just that uh, all life forms have a certain amount of electromagnetic memory and information that they receive. Um, and he referred to it as electromagnetic anesthesia because basically within this range between 600 and 4,000 hertz, and in this case it's 720, it would induce a dormancy in the weed seeds but not in the higher phylum crop seeds. And this is a response to stored wavelength information and it's just like, like uh, light cycles. Um, and the growth phase is related to varying uh, photonic radiations. Mm -hmm. So different times of year, there's different life, uh, light cycles. More or less light, that's a different periodicity. So that's the same idea as this electromagnetic information and how something would sprout or die off based upon a light cycle. Um, it's the same idea. And Callahan suggested that this could be done with an electric frequency generator. Um, he was suggesting attaching it to some sort of uh, tillage machine or tractor, but that would have a lot of interference as far as the vibrations of the machine. They would be more to calibrate with um, to get an exact frequency in that case. So I'm suggesting that they be connected directly to existing um, electroculture ground lines. These are already running through the soil and they're pretty prime suspects for um, generating Hertz frequencies through. In this case, just for this purpose of this video, I'm going to use a generator app on the phone. I've set it to 720 Hertz. I can slip it in here. I have to the auxiliary connector to two alligators. And I'm going to simply connect that to my ground line. And this is a pretty simple way to generate a frequency into the soil. Um, I would argue that perhaps it's a better way than on a tractor or something that has auxiliary vibrations um, like a machine of any sort. Um, so this is just a suggestion for vibrational, vibrational weed control. Now interestingly enough, as I was researching this further, um, I recognized 720 Hertz from frequency medicine. Um, and it's associated with the pineal gland, the third eye. And um, the sound associated with this frequency is ah ma. And then that reminded me of Dogon cosmology, where ah ma is a primary creator deity who created a perfectly organized universe and an orga uh, a universe that even precedes our material domain and is a kind of storehouse for the seed of all material forms. Um, this frequency is a harmonic of 432 hertz with 144 being the pr primary or fundamental frequency here, 432 being the third harmonic and uh, 720 being the fifth harmonic with 864 being the sixth harmonic. Where we've attached the alligator clips from the frequency generator is it, it's attached here to a pre-existing ground line. So we're utilizing pre-existing infrastructure here 
um, to generate these frequencies into the soil. That ground line runs into this greenhouse and under these crops at a diagonal south to north uh, directional. And over some, over some time here, we'll monitor um, the difference between the soil that's within and the soil that's without the field of influence of that ground line while generating the 720 hertz frequency um, in periodicities. It's also interesting to note that 720 minutes is half of a day, which is 432,000 seconds, and a healthy heart beats 864,000 times a day, which is 432,000 times two. So follow the numbers, follow the vibrations, much love.